Hello, good morning. Get my window situated here. All right, I thought I'd just come down and do a little bit of uh, watercolor play today. I've been experimenting with black watercolor grounds um, in order to make some of my um, interference and metallic colors uh, pop on the white paper. There's Joan. Hello, dear. Hey, Shauna. Good morning. Um, so I thought I'd just play with more of something related to this for a little while today. Um, I really like how these are coming out. And I've only, I only chose like a couple. Hey, Joy. Lori, good morning. Um, hey, Sandy. Adidal, is that how you say your name, dear? Hey, Denise. Eileen. Everybody's trickling in. I'll wait a minute. <laughs> Another impromptu stream. Hey, River. Larlu. Glad you're here. I saw your post this morning on Facebook. The journey begins. It'll be over before you know it, though. Time goes so fast anymore. Two lorries. Hey, Kathy. And Nina. Ratty Patty. And, of course, now I'm online. My phone's going off. Um, hang on, sorry guys. Let everybody gather for just a second. All right, let me mute that. Actually, I shouldn't mute it because I got to keep my eye on something. Hey, Vicky, who else do we have here? Hey, Mary, Amalia. Amalia is going to the um, Anna Victoria Calderon class with me in New York. I'm really looking forward to that. Hey, Mandy. All right, let's get started throwing something around here. Uh, anyway, I was I was saying I was I've been experimenting with black, um, yeah, Daniel Smith watercolor ground to try to get. Uh, a dark color down so I can use some of my um, interference Tokyo uh, pigment Tokyo and creamer pigments that don't usually show up on white paper that well. Um, yeah, Joan's stencils are really awesome, Mandy. Um, and Joan, feel free to put your link up there to the uh, eye stencil site um, for anybody else interested. Is Paul on here too? Hey, it's Paul. There you are. Um, so I tried to do this with just um, kind of channeling my inner CC, but uh, the ground Jackie is to, actually you don't really need to use it on watercolor paper. Um, ground is so that I could put more ground on this glass bottle and then paint with watercolor over top of it. It makes, it makes a ground on any other surface react to watercolor like watercolor paper does, if that makes any sense. Um, hey, April. And um, so I've been trying to, so I, I put these blacks, this was black, this, these circles, and these vertical slashes. I had black watercolor ground. You can kind of see it underneath some of them. I let it show there. But it makes the paint pop. Uh, whereas if it was an interference color painted on white, you might not even ever even see it. Hey, Sue. Hey, Sue Evans. Welcome, my friend. Um, I just showed your happy mail not too long ago, actually. Um, hey, Janet. CB. What up? So um, the pigments, again, that would be kind of translucent on white but really pop on black. Um, but then the other watercolors wouldn't show up great on just black. So I thought I'd put down a base of black where I wanted those to really pop. So you can see um, 
the pop in these uh, colors. This is a pigment Tokyo color. Um, and these little faint silver circles there, kind of a concentric circles. See those? I did that with a gel pen and this rascal. This is a, um, he, I think it's by Helix. Yeah. You can't really see it. Let's see. Helix. There you go. Circle maker, I think it's called. It's kind of like a spirograph thing. Gala. Oh, thank God you're here to help. <laughs> to, to help moderate. Uh. Hey, Sophia. So it makes all different kind of circles and it spins kind of like a spirograph. So put your pen in one of these little holes here. See these different holes and just drag it around a circle and move it up, up, up and up. And that's why how I got these concentric circles because I like a good circle. I got to tell you. Um, but I tried to take just a couple colors in the background, maybe two or three. Three is not a couple, but you know what I mean. Um, Oh my gosh, I would love for you to visit. That would be awesome. Oh, you have one of the circle makers, Kathy? It's really cool. I saw it somewhere uh, on Instagram, I think. Um, it's really handy. It's a little tricky on watercolor paper and on a block. Sometimes, like, I have to go around a couple times because... Also, the, the fatter nib on the gel pen I was using didn't squidge down into that tinier hole. But I got it to work. Love it. Oh, for Mandela's. Yeah, I guess it would be. Or Mandela. Mandela. That's Nelson. <laughs> oh, they all sound alike. Anyway. Let's get this out of the way so I can start doing something. I picked a couple colors. This is Cascade Green, Amazonite, and Lunar Black. And then I put down the black um, circles. And when you do this, you have the option of paint of covering over a part of the painting you might not like. So that's kind of handy. Um, and then I just popped my um, the pigments over there, made some a little bit of splatter. Boom, she's done. This, I think I did this one on stream. Uh, yeah, because Kathy's the one that told me to use my stamp with pictographs to stamp on those black watercolor grounds with watercolor paint. So, uh, and this was um, all these, I was trying to make little splops, splots of um, black down there. Um, this one was Moon Glow. Sugalite and purpurite is what that was. I didn't realize how the moon glow bl broke out into that turquoisey color. I never noticed it do that that much. Maybe because I used it in such a huge quantity and added a lot of water, you could really see what it did. But all that turquoisey purple break apart stuff, that was moon glow. These blobs here are purpurite. And if you see the shimmer up here in this little grayish blob, that was uh, sugalite. Sugalite? Hang on. Oh, the phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that was. And then this was a pigment that I got. But look how that changes. That pigment. Isn't that a cool shift? I don't know you can really see it. Go to that orangey bronze. How do it work? <laughs> the name brand of the colors. Um, most of the background, all of the background colors are Daniel Smith. The pops of the stuff I put in the circles um, are different. Uh, brand pigments. It could be Pigment Tokyo. This one is a little one I got off of Amazon. It's a rose gold pigment. Um, this one here was a, a Pigment Tokyo. It's got a big shift to it. Let me see if I can show you the shift. See where it's that tealy greeny blue color. Now watch when you get a see it shift to that like sapphire color when you get a different angle. Cool stuff, mama like. And then here's another one. Um, hi, AJ. This was Genuine Bloodstone, Red Fuchsite. What was that brown? Hang on, I know what it was. Oh, Burnt Tiger's Eye. 
This was Burnt Tiger's Eye here, here, and here. This reddish color. It's got some sparkle in it. I don't know if you can. There you go. That's red fuchsite. It's a pale color with it's a natural stone. It's one of the Prima Tech colors in Daniel Smith. Um, and then this was a uh, pigment Tokyo color. But look at that shift from a brassy gold. And it comes around and it goes to a pinky. Hang on, can I get that bright pink in there for you? Hello, come on. Now, at this angle that I see, how do I make you see that angle? Uh, I probably can't on this camera. We can see a little bit on the top of the circle down here. You can get a little gist of it, but it turns a pretty bright pink. Well, you're just going to have to believe me. And then this one, there was only two colors. Well, three counting the metallic. This was lunar black, lunar blue, and my rose gold that I mix. And that's all that was on this one. Hello. I love how that lunar blue black breaks apart like that. There you go. Focus for mama. See all that granulation? I love that. Some people don't like it. Mama like it. So I thought I would just play a little bit more to get loosened up here. Um, and I want to play with April. Um, a little creative on here is April. Um, she has an Etsy shop, a little creative, and she sells the um, Renaissance Polish watercolors. Um, she sent me a 10, a 20, I think a 24 set. Uh, some time ago, we were waiting for her to get her shop full of stock. Um, oh, cool, Marie. You used my stencils in stream today. Great. This is a new block. Um, new to me. It's an uh, Aquarelle Fabriano um, Extra White. 100% cotton block, 140 pounds. Cold press. It doesn't say cold press anywhere. Does right in the big yellow block. Hello. You know what it feels. It feels nice. Anywho, let's um. Oh, thanks for the link, Gail, for April. So yeah, squirrel sidetracked again. Um. April's had um, Lindsay the frugal crafter and CC. Um, I'm trying to think of who else demoed her paints. Um, and I'm going to do that as well. I was going to, um, I need to get them opened. I don't want to take time opening them all on stream. I need to get those opened up and put in the tray and then play with those, um, which I'm going to try to do for my next stream whenever that is. Hey, Dot. All right. So what I was doing, um, let's see. Okay, seeing what I got here. I got stuff everywhere. Oh my God, I'm on your big screen. Hello, Laura Lou. <laughs> Ooh, hot flash. Gotta have a little water, try to cool the core down. I'm not sure that's gonna do it. Woo, doggy. Okay. Just reading the chat. Hey, Terry. All right. So I'm going to, let me decide on my colors I want to put down here first. I've been trying to put something down that granulates in the background. So I think I'm going to use Lunar Blue. Where are you? There you are. Get that one juiced up. And then maybe a little, let's see. I want to, I want to use one of, what I'm thinking about is when I do those circles, um, instead of just using silver, I think I want to use one of these um, duo 
metallic um, hybrid gel pens. Can I get that name on there? Wow, too shiny. I think these are Pentel. Um, you can get them on Amazon a lot cheaper than jet pens, but I think that's where I got my first set was jet pens till I wised up. Good Lord, the label's even so shiny. I can't hardly read the darn thing. Hybrid dual metallic. So for instance, this one is green and it's got blue metallic in it. And this one is um, blue ink with green metallic. And then I have another one that is violet ink with blue metallic. So those are all kind of my favorites, as you know. Um, so I was trying to think, maybe play with one of those <coughs> in the background to um, instead of the circle, instead of the silver circles. For those coming in late, let me show you what I'm talking about here. I can show you on this one. See these real pale concentric silver circles there. I did that with a silver gel pen. I'm thinking about doing it with one of the two tones when that's a little bit more in your face. So I'm going to splash around a little water on the paper. And I'm using one of these distress strip sprayers. And I kind of squeeze it slow so you get the blobs instead of just a mist. And then let's get some lunar blue down there. Where's my brush I want? There it is. I'll just use this one. Oh, no. I don't want that one. I want this one. Hello. This is a um, Raphael Zero quill brush. Let's put some lunar blue. And I go right from the pan to the paper because I want it really vibrant. I don't want to water it down and add some pigment in. I want it really vibrant. And then I'm just going to pounce it in these blobs of water that I have out here. This really um, uh, granulates pretty quickly. And then what I've been doing is taking some plain water. I need a paper towel. Hurry up before it dries. Don't let it dry. And then I'm going out and adding more water and just letting it kind of bleed out. Maybe that sounds bad, bleed out. You know, when anybody bleeding out during my stream. All right, and just let it kind of soften the edges a little bit. A little bit more water down here and in here. See, that's already broken up where it looked like it was gray. See how it's got most of that blue in there now? And that'll bleed out a little bit further than what that is. Actually, I'm going to add more in there. Just no rhyme or reason to where or why I'm doing it. Because that's how I roll. I just kind of throw it down there. <laughs> that's right Gala can't be having that and then I kind of connect the blobs maybe throw a little bit more up in here kind of squeeze out my brush to get most of it out on the paper because that's that's too luscious to waste and then Get another little keep them moving a little bit so I don't get too hard of an edge. Get the little serpentine effect going here. And then this, there's not a whole lot of water down here. And I can still use that.
And then once I get a layer on here, I kind of let this dry. I might have a little assist from the heat gun. I go back and look and see wherever it looks like I might have a hard edge showing up there. I just kind of fan that out a little bit there and let it move to wherever it wants to move. I don't want it to look too contrived. Although that kind of does, doesn't it? Let's see if we can lift some of that off of there. There we go. That's better. All right. <laughs> oh, Gala, you little rascal. Uh, I believe these are the Pentel. Um, they're Pentel brand, I think. And you know, it doesn't say that anywhere on here. Uh 1.0 millimeter ball. Yes, they're Pentel. Pentel Company Limited, made in Japan. And they're called the Hybrid Dual Metallic. They were half the price for the full set on Amazon. Yep, that's right. Paid full price and found them half price. That's okay. Uh, question, what brush are you using? This is um, Raphael. Here. Hang on, I got my heat gun plunged in one hand. Let me free up my hand here and I'll show you, April. Hang on. I was about to plug in my heat gun. Size zero. Petite Gris Pure. I don't know how. We need CC to read this. But that's what it is. Yeah, you're welcome. So this is drying up pretty well. Look how that really has broken apart like that. Oh, I love me some Lunar Blue. Okay, hang on. Heat done. Get this dried off. Oh, shoot. Look what I just did. Oh, dumbass. Got it. I didn't get that. I'm a sloppy worker. I'm telling you, I can't uh, ever keep the edges of my paper clean. Sophia, thanks for stopping in. Are you guys seeing my paint wheel on my left? Hey, tomorrow. All right, let's see. It's on my left. Okay, cool. It's so weird. I'm looking at my mini cam window and it's on my left where it should be. But the browser window where I launched my live stream has everything flip flopped. But what you're seeing on the browser is the right way. <laughs> it's very confusing. Hey, Newtson. That's a new name. Good morning. Thanks for joining. So now what do I want to do for my second color? Um, I've been trying to do this using colors I don't usually use, but I may revert back to like Durochrome. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking maybe some. Uh, like Indian Throne, like a really dark blue for some reason. That might throw off my pen choice over there, but <laughs> that's how we roll around here. Start out with a plan and divert on the first move. Um, 
Mission. Pass the fellow turquoise, Patty. Amazonite. Snell yay. Greenish blue. Lunar violet. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to wet up this amethyst. Let that stew for a couple of minutes. Um, maybe this mineral violet. I haven't I haven't used that a lot, and that's a pretty color. All right, let's see what we got here. Um. Gonna kind of like do an Xy kind of thing here. Ish. Patty, you're the paint you have now. Looks like a guy walking with his hands in his pocket. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's funny. We're gonna do an ink blot test. I God forbid what Gala might say. So maybe that's not a good idea to do live. <laughs> Okay, what did I went up? Amethyst and mineral violet. All right, let's do a little mineral violet. So these are kind of my colors with purpley and blue, but different ones than I usually pick. I need some help keeping my Amazon store. Oh, like an affiliate link, Vicki? I don't know if anybody here has one of those, uh, if that's what you mean. I'd help you if I could, my friend, but... I don't know if this is a staining color or what's happening here. So before I get too crazy, I'm going to go ahead and try to move this a little bit. Are you guys seeing all the trailers for the new movie? A star is born. I really want to see that. I'm going to cross over here and let those blend. Pull some of that water down here. This is not a staining color. That actually lifts right up. This paper, even though this is really good paper, it's still buckling here. Can I lift that? Yes. <laughs> so what else was I going to put down here? Um, I know you guys were watching me. What the hell was it? Oh, amethyst. I don't know if amethyst is the right one now because that's more violet than I thought. This is one of the ones harder to lift because it's a natural, it's amethyst ground up basically. Joan's sweetness has been exaggerated. Yeah, amethyst is a Daniel Smith color. And it's actually made out of amethyst. But I think I think that's going to be the wrong color. I think that's going to be too dull. It had a little bit of shimmer in it. That's why I was kind of looking at it. I don't like this blob right there. It's getting out of control. Out of control blob. Let's do some of this happening. Of course, you can't see what's happening. Uh, 
I just want some of that to run a little bit. I think I'm going to add a little bit of water in there. And let that run, make that run a little bit more. And maybe some up here to do that. And maybe one down there. Don't overdo it. Babe's underneath my table. She's probably having a heart attack. Oh, hey, Debbie. Um, all right. Maybe some lunar black. Or like a Payne's gray. Just to get some dark in there. Hmm. Let's dry it while I think. Lunar black. Moon glow. Pink gray. I guess the purple, right? That's too much like that one, I think. Hey, River. All right, let's try something. What are we going to try? No, no. Pure purple. I want to get something. I'm either thinking of going with the Sugalite or um, a Payne's Gray. One of the oh, Kyanite maybe. Let's try Kyanite. That's got a little sparkle in it. It's kind of in the family that would blend. Gail would take a number. My husband's lap is very popular. Oh, I almost said with the dogs, but that would have implied you were. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I'm sure he would welcome it. All right, let's put a little, let's get a little squirt up here. I'm not uh, too married to what's going on right there. And then I'll put a little pump right down there. We'll see how that works. It may work, it may not. Um, to get the little blobs of paint, of water out of that bottle, April, try um, squeeze it really slow is what you need to do. If you squeeze squeeze it fast, you get the mist. If you squeeze it really slow, you get um, you get the blobs. And get those to blend before they oops this one up here is missing out on the love hang on let's let those just blob around let's try letting those run a little bit All right, heat gun. Mm. 
Now I got to figure out which one of these, if any. Not the green one, that's for sure. That one's out. That might be too blue. I think I'm going to end up with gold again. Oh, the purple might be cool. It's got purple with blue. I think I might do this. Okay. Now you can see that little bit of sparkle in that kyanite, maybe. If I get it to hit right. It's real faint, but that's another Prima Tech. Daniel Smith that's um, made from a natural stone. Okay, now I think what I'll do is got a pile of miscellaneous garbage over here since the stencil mania of a couple weeks ago. Hang on. Looking through the stash to find one that I think would be lovely. Oh, you know what I might do? I'll tell you what I might do. I might do just like some pictographs pop through there. Just one here and there maybe lift it off. I didn't do any of that lifting over there on those other ones I showed you. I really like this actually. Mama do like. Thanks, Jackie. Um, so where's my mystery racer? I had one that I cut up into a bunch of pieces. Did I put it in my drawer? Uh, no. I thought I cut it up. We'll cut up another little hunkaroo. Where's my scissors? Oops, hello. That was a happy little hunk. All right, I'm going to put just the tiniest bit of water in there and let that kind of smush through. Hey, Gail. And I'm squeezing it out. So it's just, that holds a lot of water. And I just, I dipped it in water about a sixteenth of an inch of the sponge and the whole thing is, I've squeezed it out and now it's still pretty damp. So, let's see. I'm going to go to somewhere that I'm not really fond of. That kind of looks like the head of a squid or an octopus. Let's break that up a little bit. And I love an anchor. I love me a good anchor, but that's not going to show. Only part. Oh, that might be cool, which is part of it showing, right? I'm going to try to get that edge lifted in there. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. That's kind of real faint. See that? And that's what I want. I just want them kind of faint backgroundish looking uh, kind of a deal. Let's pick another shape. This dark one here. Let's do this little. I like this little oriental looking house kind of thing here. Ooh, there you go. Oh, that's kind of stacked up there. We got to get one. Get one over here. Let's do this one here. I'm going to work on another set of pictographs. I've been saying this for a year. But I have about half of them. So hopefully the next time I have a stencil release. Um, I can have another set of pictographs out there. Yeah, I know. I use this more than anything probably. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's use... Mm 
Let's do this one over here. And again, this one's just going to be a shadowy mist because I used it. It was partially on white paper, or but real light pigment down here. And let's see. Let's do one more. I need a smaller one. Let's do this little dude up here. All right, good enough. Let's see. Cece is a genius. I love to get in her head and hear what's going on in there. And how she, like, especially all these abstract things she's doing for, like, an Inktober thing where she's doing one a day with watercolor. Oh, my God. She, she, when you watch what she puts on the paper, these weird little sideways plops and stuff that she does with the brush. And then when you see how they end up, it's crazy. How did you come up with that? Um, Oakley. Oh, my goodness. Miss Cece. How did you do that? All right. Now I'm thinking, tapping and thinking. Um, um, I think I might do the circles before I put down the black ground. And I'm going to try this and see what it looks like. And if I don't like it, I'll put it under, um, I'll put a black blob under it. See how you like that. So where am I going to, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this so that if I do want to cover it up, I'm not wild about how this one turned out into that purple and almost shows where the color wiped into the bottom of it a little bit. I don't know. Not, not loving that. Hey, Tiff, how you doing? Thanks for joining. So um, I think I'm going to try this color ink right in here to see what happens. If it's fabulous, then we leave it. If not, I'm going to put a black circle over it. I think that's going to be too much. I don't know. See the ink that's got purple ink with the blue in it? It's kind of showing up pinky there, but it's not pink. I promise you it's not pink. Can you see it any better? Purple with the blue. There you go. Oh, thanks, Tiff. I'm working my way towards this kind of thing. ish. <laughs> I do like it though, but I don't know about this ink. I think that might be too bright. So here we go. Are we going silver or are we going gold? Oops, I left this one open. Is that bad? Yes, it's a little bad. It's been open for about a week. And that looks like it's coming back, coming back to mama. Oh, that's the same. I have a silver one that's, um, this is a jelly roll stardust. It's one of those ones with a little star thing on there. It's kind of a champagne-y looking color. It's a color on here. Ew. That's pretty though. This is probably too yellow. Yeah, that's too yellow. I like it more subtle. Believe it or not. I know that's a shocker. What's this? This is silver. But 
but not as silver as this silver. All right, hang on. I'm not looking at the chat right at the moment while I'm digging through. There, this one. Nope, that's a Signo too. What the hell? I thought I had a... Oh, I do have that, but it's this. Okay. All right. Coming, coming to me now. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will use this one. Oh, so many choices. Okay, let's go back to this. Okie dokie. So, um, I'm going to put I'm going to put enough of this on here that some of the black watercolor ground I'm going to put down is going to cover some of this. So I know I'm going to lose some of it as I do this, but I'm just deciding where I might want the circles. One over here for sure to get rid of that. Um, I need to put one down here somewhere. And maybe one up in here. Threes, got to do threes, you know. Let's just get some circles down here. More circle making, less yappering. Less yapping. Okay, let's just. Okay, let's get that little subtle circular sheen in there. Hey, Kimberly. And now let's get one of these up in this plain purpley spot here a little bit. I noticed the ones down towards the center, it's really hard to get the momentum going to get it. Uh, I almost can't. There we go. And some I just make like three passes. Some I make them bigger. Let's do something over here really big. Really big shoe. And I'll go every other hole. Okay. Enough of the cycles. Yeah, Joan went to her. Hey, Nancy. Joan went to her craft show this weekend. All right. All right, so that's where we are now. I got a little couple little blobs there, so I might have to do something to add more to that to make it really meant to do that, which I had no intention of doing. So now... I need to find, where's my acrylic brushes? They're all watercolor. All right, hang on. Oh, they're over by the sink where I washed them out. Give me a moment. Where you going, babe? I'm not leaving. You can stay under the table. I'm not, I'm not moving with a girl. I'm coming right back. I'm not coming right back. Mommy needs to get some leave in her. I'm all jacked up today. And not in a good way. If there is a good way. Lordy. <laughs> all right. So now, here's my black watercolor ground. And you don't normally use watercolor ground or watercolor paper. Well, I guess most people wouldn't. But because I want to use some of those metallic pigments and really have them pop, um, I'm going to put black on first. And I'm going to use 
my little circle template here. Um, that out of harm's way. Now, where are they going to go? I know I got to put one here. So let's put one about that big. If I do that one that big there, we're going to put a bigger one. Maybe down here. That would cover up a couple things I'm not thrilled about. It might be too big. Maybe there. All right. Let's go. I'm going to use an acrylic brush and pick up a little of the black water ground. It's kind of like a gesso, but it it's supposed to make surfaces that aren't watercolor paper, like watercolor paper. So you can watercolor uh, metal and glass and plastic and whatever you paint it on uh, with watercolor paint and get them to, supposed to react similar to watercolor paper. All right, there's that one. I'm a paper towel. How are you tinning the light watercolor? Have you tried tinning the... No, I have not. Oh, hang on, that's CVS Pharmacy. Um, Let me get rid of that because we'll have to listen to the whole voicemail and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I've not tried tinning it. I have gold, watercolor ground, I think transparent and black. This um, is a new block I just opened today, Tiff. It's um, Fabriano Aquarello Artistico Extra White cold press 140 pounds all right so there's that let's do one hmm. Maybe there. I don't know why. Um, hey, my mods. You see what I see? I need a little boot. Maybe I'll just do it. Maybe I'll take the pleasure. Okay. We're booted. All right, hopefully he or she is gone. We don't need that. Yeah, I know. That's why I thought I'd just nail it before any more happened. You can take your causes to the right platform. It's not my stream, even though we know that what my health history is. Uh, so time and place. This ain't it, buddy. <laughs> Way to go, Kayla. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Got to have a third one. Where am I going to put the third one? It should be a little smaller and up here somewhere. I hate to hide that kyanite. That's pretty. Pretty. Maybe out here in the corner. I'll lose some. Oh, you know what? I'll do this and cover up my boo-boo where those little drops hit there. Little dots fell. Actually, I like the way that looks. I might actually add some intentionally. There we go. 
All right, get most of that out of my brush. Oh, yeah, because I want to use a different brush for the little, or do I? Can I use this one and get some decent little? Oh, maybe I will use this one. Um, whew, it's hot down here today. It's usually cold down here. Something's wrong. Might be, might mean, but be just my innards. <laughs> okay, let's um, well, less, less looking and more painting. Do we really need to think that hard? It's abstract. <laughs> I do. All right, let's just do a couple slashes here, here, get that a little blacker, here, maybe one in here, brighten that up, and one over here. Oh, that's kind of side by side, isn't it? I don't like that, but too late now. I wonder if I did something different. If I did just little, like, you know, my little lines that I do sometimes. Oh, let's see what that looks like on here. Oh, no, that's a blob. That's not a line. Maybe I can do it like that. One, two. Maybe. I don't know. Too much? I can't really control those that much. I have no control. I'm going to try some now. What the hell? Patty is supposed to cure 24 hours. I found that out the hard way. The watercolor grounds? I've, I've done it. I let it dry and painted right on it for these other paintings, Vicki. I think it might have to on glass or, you know, plastic or something. But I've just painted right over it. Right? It's just on paper. And I don't have the patience for anything to cure for 24 hours. <laughs> That's not working. That's too big. I need a smaller brush. Or what do I need? Hmm. I wonder if I could do it with like a knife like this. Now, all right, let's just, let me hit this with a heat gun. Heat gun. That's what I need to do, Gail, some laundry. Oh, hey, oh no, Marie was here. I thought I missed somebody. Yeah, hot flash, my middle name. This dries pretty fast. I don't know about the curing part of it, so pay me no mind there. Don't uh, do not do as I do. That place in any aspect. <laughs> okay, now what color sparklies do we want to put on there? These are my pigment Tokyos. Huh, I wonder what that would look like. Let me put a little bit of you up here. Whoa, that's a purple. Um, what's this one? Oh, that's a blue. That's more blue. Yeah, that's blue. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, blue, blue. What are these? These are creamer. What's this one here? Oh, look at you. Hello, lover. Um, hmm. This one's kind of a purpley, pinky color, I think. No, that's too pink. You're too pink. Huh. 
I can't remember. I need some. Hang on. That's too far away from my little head. These are crazy colors, um, Jackie. I'm going to be able to see them better. Wow. I'm going to see what the shift is of these when they... Green, turquoise, that's too blue. Strong color family. I want to I wanna stay. What's this one do? <laughs> oh, my. That's what I wanted to see. This is the one that shifts like three colors. There's almost an orange in it which I probably won't be able to get to show. It's hard to pick up on the camera. You can almost see a tinge in that bottom one down here by my thumb. You can almost see a tint. There you go. Kind of see that brassy orange. And then it goes to a pinky purple. I might do that one. Oh, let me see what else I have in here. These are mostly all my golds and bronzes and rose gold and Indian summer. No, 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 and no. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. Decision made. Don't try to change my mind. All right, here we go. This one is a pigment Tokyo color called Chroma RPK. Like Robert Patrick Kenneth. Why do I think of men's names? I don't know. Hey, Kat. All right, here we go. Here you go, nothing. Turn that and reach it a little bit better. I'm going to pick up a different brush for this for some reason. And a little bit of that black sticks out. And I don't mind that. It almost kind of looks like a little bit of a shadow. That's what we're going to call it. Let's call it an intentional. Is the star graphic? No, it's a helix circle maker. Helix brand circle maker, but it acts like a spirograph for sure. All right. All right. I'm going to let that go and I'm going to use. Hello, how are you? Let's try this one. I'm not watching the chat right at the moment. This is really bright. I think this might be one of the colors that's okay on uh, white paper, too. We'll see. I'll make some streaks with it. But it really pops on the black. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it on the white. But you can see it at a different level on the black.
All right. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little teeny tiny bit of paint, and I'm going to do, and I don't care if the black still shows on this, I just want some of it to hit that streak. I kind of like the, the look of it with the black peeking through. Let's see. You get the true sheen of these once they dry. You pretty much have to dry watercolors before they, or the sh shimmery watercolors before you get the true pow. Um, I didn't splat. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll do some splats with this creamer one that's more glittery. I don't know. I'm thinking. Or do I want to splot some... Um, let me think. Let me think. I got a couple new inks, like I needed more friggin' ink. Um, but these seem like I should have them for some reason. And these... I saw these on John Neal Bookseller. And they're a special Doc Martens collection... Spectralite Private Collection Acrylic Ink. So I don't know what's so private collection and special about these, but maybe I'll splat one of these. That's the silver. Looks kind of whitish. This is the gold. Liquid, uh, Spectralite Liquid Acrylic 18 karat gold. I wonder if these have mixing balls in them. Yeah, Jackie, I go right from my palette or my pans to the paper because I want it to do that. I mean, I, I love the look of when you, you water it down on a palette and then pick it up from there, very diluted. I like that look too, but for what I was doing here, I wanted it more of a punch. This one's taking a while to mix up. But I don't think I want gold in there anyway. And I have a copper that's completely separated. That one seems to be mixing a little bit quicker. But I don't want either one of those. This one maybe? Let's see what this looks like. I think I want some kind of silver that's going to mimic these circles if I splat with silver. That's what I'm looking at. That's not completely mixed yet. Whoa. That's, it looks more silver on the white than it, it does over there. Again, I can't see the damn thing. Put some here where I can see it better. These glasses, I'm telling you. It's pretty silver. Hey, Vicki. Not just for laughs. That's a new one. Gailey, you might want to um, introduce yourself. Not sure. I'm thinking. You're new. What's your name? Hey, 
Hey, Nick. What kind of art do you do? This looks so blue on your screen right now. Uh, it looks like a royal purple blue, but it's it's so not in person. I can't get it to pick up when I'm really seeing. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What next? What next? You know what I might do? Where's my little silver pen? Oops. I'm going to hit this with a heat gun. Oops, that's a weather warning. Weather alert. I didn't think we were supposed to do anything. Tropical Storm Michael forms. Oh, God. All right. Now I'm thinking about making some additional marks uh, with this silver pen. Um, but what marks might they be? Maybe just streaks across these or dots down those. Hmm. Let's do dots. These pen, this is a uniball silver pen. Can you use, can I use this with the circle maker? Yes, that's what these circles are from. See those real faint concentric circles there? That was from the same pen. Is Eileen still here? Yeah, that adds a little something. Now what? Oh, hang on, ninety-year-old mother. Call from top. Hey, mom. Hey. What? Yeah. Hmm. I'm streaming right now. I'll have to call you back later. Okay, bye. Oh, Lordy. She's trying to watch the football game, and it's being broadcast in Spanish on her one TV that she likes to sit out and watch the porch, back porch by the water. <laughs> oh, Lordy.
Yeah, it's a little something else. I'm not sure if I'm all about that or not. Hey, Joni. Uh, yeah, I've used Joe Sonia's, um, I think it was a potting shed collection of her acrylic paints. Um, they were, not, they're nice. They're um, a little more matte finish and muted colors that I had, but I, I did like them. There was one called, I think it was called Raindrop that I loved. It was a pale grayish muted turquoise. Hey, Cole. Okay, let me look at my little drawer of tricks to see if I have any sparkly. Oh, you know what? Hello. Oh, silly girl. I've got a real sparkly watercolor creamer uh, in the Mirror Star Gloss. Yeah, that's like silver glitter. I'm going to I'm going to spot that. I am. You just watch me. Give them all water. All right, let's just see what happens. Hey, Denise. Oh, no, I saw you before. Not that I can't say hi to you twice, but I'm just saying. And I might take this and do little, uh, little bits of something here. Let's see. Just like little streaks. Let's see. Little backgroundy kind of thing. It won't pop as much as that purple, but I think we got enough purple on there. Pretty sure. This will just be a little hint. Let's see. Let's drag one inside of here. See what happens with that. Actually, I'm going to do that for all of those little round purple balls. Just to break them up, they're a little plain. Hmm. Never have enough purple. You can see that it's kind of a Muted kind of a shimmer. Hey, gun. I think I might. I need something like a black squat. That's what I'm thinking. All right, now I'm just looking and thinking. Look, can you hear those wheels turning? Or the brakes locking up? What paint are you using? All kinds. Well, not all kinds. The background, this is Lunar Blue. This blue and black that's broken up here, that's Lunar Blue by Daniel Smith. This grayish color that's got a little sparkle in it here. And over a little here, I'm over here, that's Kyanite. It's a Primatech Daniel Smith color. And the purple is uh, not Daniel Smith. That's Holbein Mineral Violet. 
this purple that comes in this way, the violet looking color. And then the metallics on the circles and the streaks, that's a pigment Tokyo color, a chroma shine color. And the silver, that's a creamer pigment, uh, Mira Star Gloss that I mixed up the watercolor myself. So, I don't know. I'm not sure, as much as I like that purple, I'm not sure if that was the right color to go with or if I sh should have just done... Um, uh, oh, that's a thought. This is a PBO Silver marker. Add a few pops of something in there. Maybe I'll do that. Oops, that's a... Oh, shit. Hang on. I had a little avalanche here. Yeah. Where's the silver one? I pulled out the copper one because I had the metal, the bottom of it was showing. And that's a silver on all of them. Silly girl. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I usually just take the one with the 15 millimeter lit nib and make like little rectangle pops here and there. Maybe I'll do that. Oops. Oh. It's been leaking. Here's a glob of the silver paint outside the lid. How is that possible? This is an oil base um, paint. But when that dries, it dries like chrome. Can you splatter with it? I don't know. I can if I... Oh, I can. Wow. Excellent idea, Gala. Now make me stop. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> yeah, those add ones get you. Oh, that was very shiny and prominent. And they're going to take a little while to dry because that's oil. Oil, oil. Um, do I want to make my little pops in there too? Um, huh. I'm thinking, can you hear that thinking? Um, th and this is strong. Whew. If I pass out, somebody call 911, inhaling these damn fumes while I'm thinking. Um, hmm. I don't know how it's going to work on watercolor paper because it's kind of textury bits on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it too much? It might be too much. Back away. Oh, maybe I should use the black one and put my little pops in there. And that'll get the black and the pops in. A twofer. Let me go through this damn pen, pen and pencil storage deal I got going here. This is getting a little crazy. Oh, where'd that come from? Let me put that down here. Hey, Miss Lennox. Well, now it came out of there. I took more. There we go. Let's say it came out of this one little cubby. I took more pens out. Now it won't fit. Oh, thanks, April. Thanks for stopping by. Um, or do I want something with a fine black pen 
and do some little marks. What's this? This fell out. It's an Ecoline brush pen in black that I believe is like watercolor. Or is it? Yeah, it's good. It's watering down. Hmm. I'm stumped. I don't know. Maybe I'll just pull this off and look at it for a while and decide what I want to do. Maybe that's the action to take here. No action at all. I have a ten. I have a tendency to overdo it. Did you ever notice? I don't know. You probably never noticed. Oh. All right. So that's where we ended up. I wish you could see all the colors. Like at this angle, looking down at this, I can see, or I can see that bronziness of those circles. You can't. Only I can see it. Huh. Well, again, you're just going to have to trust me. But I do like those really shiny silver spots. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Barney. I got Barney Fife as a mod. <laughs> I thought we had a second one there for a while, Gala. I tried to throw you a hint, but you weren't you weren't picking up what I was putting down. So anyway, that's so weird that you don't even see that pinky violet flash in there on this one. Unusual. Can you see it on this? Yeah, you can see it on here. See that change color like that on the black paper? But you can't see it on the watercolor paper? Oh, there you go. There we go. So you get an idea. All right. Now when I throw it up here in front of me and it's laying flat like this, but almost at, well, at chest level, I see that orangey pinky color. So now what are we going to do? Maybe, I don't know. Do I want to do another one? I'm kind of on a roll doing these, as you may be able to tell. It's changed since I've moved along here. This one, I tried to do the those bronzy colors. That's the black watercolor ground, but it's it's kind of, it doesn't really plop well. I didn't like how this one turned out. This is what made me start doing that, because you see how this is really that shiny bronze, right? See that pigment, how pretty that is? But when you look at it like this, it looks like baby poop smeared on your page. You can't even really see it. So if it would be hanging on a wall, which it's never going to be, um, you know, unless you hit just the right angle to see that beautiful pop. So that's why I thought, I'll put black down and then put the stuff over it, which it showed better. But this wasn't the way to do it because it's too, like, painted on. It's not free flowing like watercolor looks. Patty, you should use those ones you don't like to make these pretty for yourself. I'll do something with them. What's that? Oh, I think I did that during the stencil a thon <laughs> when we did the sale for the. Um, Oh, uh, stencils. Lifted that off with. Uh, oh, that's my my coffee mug. I think I call it. It's my the pattern that's on my Starbucks mug that I like. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's the role I've been on. I really like those colors. That's just lunar black, lunar blue, and rose gold. But that needs more. It needs, doesn't it need more? Maybe we'll do more to this. So 
So lunar black, lunar blue, and rose gold. Hmm. I wonder what would happen. I don't know. I like this one. Let's not, let's not experiment with that. Let's experiment with something new. <laughs> let's try to duplicate that, which I never can do, but you know, what the hell. We'll give it a shot. So what did I say? Lunar blue, lunar black, lunar blue. Where are you, lunar black? There you are across the other side. Okay. Let's, um, let's, oh, I already got some water down here from that little debacle. Um, Let's do it differently. Let's put a bigger blob of water. Let's yeah, see what happens. See you, Larlo. Oh, oh! I hope it goes well. I know that's going to be a hard, a hard dinner and a hard day, uh, Laurie. But um, you know. It'll go fast. It's probably a good decision for your family and all that good stuff. But I'm not that far away when you want to come visit. 45 minutes. You're in the basement with me. Just saying. All right. This is Lunar Blue. And I'm just going to start throwing some down. Right from the pan onto the paper. When I get this brush real wet, see how I'm flipping it all over the place? Oh, mercy. I want to come back and wet the edge and let it do its thing. I'm surprised that this paint's buck our uh, paper's buck buckling like it is on this pad. Oh, this is the Fabriano. I'm sorry. I thought this was the... um. Uh, my um, arches because that didn't buckle as much. This is buckling more. See how it's laying in these ridges? Let it have its way. Let's just do that. Let's let it do that. How about that? Be gone. You see, I don't like these little bits here. I just love how this lunar blue breaks apart. Look at that. And so the blue and the black pigment that makes it up. Mama life. Uh-oh. Get off. <laughs> oh, that's what you're just saying as I'm saying it. Oh, mercy. And I, what has happened? You see how this happens? It's not intentional. Honestly, let's let's do something about this area. Put a little, little pigmentosa there. And break up this ball. Mm. Get my lunar black. <laughs> oh, Gail. 
Let's do something like this. Let's go through here. Just want them to have their way with the paper. Again, with the crease, with the um, ripples. I don't like that. I don't like it. Look at that. How it's laying in there. It's that rippled up. Joan, Joan, Joan. Paul, are you still here? Can you not keep her under control? And you know what? While that's wet, let's put some rose gold in with that. I can't remember how I did that one. Let's just make it up. So let's get some rose gold in some of these areas. Add a little bit of water and let that run a little bit down there. Be done. Dot, I'm getting the feeling that you have it in for JD. What is your strong dislike? That rose gold kind of took over. You bossy. Little Miss Bossy. I love how this looks right here when this gets like a thicker collection of that rose gold pigment. I do. All right. Now. This I didn't put any black down. I just did the rose gold because that's a pretty opaque pigment. Um, look how much more paint I have on there than this one trying to duplicate it. And it can never duplicate anything. I don't know if it's good or bad. Okay, let's Hmm. All right, well, let's do one up here. That's There's nothing I'm tied to up there that's that has to be that great. I'm just going to do, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try it. And I'm going to take a silver uh, half inch flat. And I'm just going to try to paint the circle in the, in the template. We'll see what happens. The 
bit more water. And I'm trying to drag that water into the away from the edges into the middle so I don't get any kind of a too much of a boo-boo. Hey Elaine. That did get a little out of control, but the good thing is I'm going to go around this with water and just let that kind of blow up there, but I want more pigment on it so there's more it can travel further. Oh, thanks for joining, Mandy. Have a good night. All right. Let's see. We're going on another. Another, another, another. Um, I don't want to take too much of that blue away. I don't know. Where am I going to put my next one? Let's put it out here. I don't know why, but that's where we're going to put it. Yeah, this rose gold really doesn't need the black ground under it to, to shine. A howling dog. <laughs> oh, here. That's so funny. What people start to see at a different angle. Um, you know, I'm looking at it just this one little area, but when you sit back and look at it, it's like an ink blot. All right, and they're almost the same size. I need a big one in there. Where am I going to put it now? All right. Well, I'm just going to have to go bold. Let's put it here. Just for giggle. Oh, where's my paint? Over here. <gasps> Oops. Right off the edge of the stencil. Okay, so what I wanted to do, and this might be totally messing it up when I do this, but that's why this is a practice sheet. I wanted to see what happens. Here goes nothing, people. I'm just, let's see. I'm going to drag a little water around here and let that kind of fuzz out a little bit. I don't know how staining this is or how it's going to move, if it's going to move. We don't know. Might be la boo boo to do this. I don't know. There's damn ridges in this paper. Not loving that, I can tell you. I think this might be a boo-boo. <laughs> I'm just going to put some water out here. 
loosen it all up again and see what happens. Yeah, maybe not so much. Or maybe I should do this. Maybe I should loosen this up. Down here. And just let some of it run. Sometimes these are experiments gone bad. And I think this may be one of them. But we'll see. Let's try something different to this one over here. What are we going to do different with this? Um, let's loosen up the middle. Oh, you know what? That will probably be cool like a flower. Ish. Yeah, that didn't move at all. And it really moves through here when it was in the water. But loosening it back up. I don't know. Hey, done. I kind of like this one down here. All right, let's do this. Let's go back and let's add some more. Let's try to bring this circle back with a brighter layer of this rose gold. And this one. Oop. That was almost a big boo boo. Trying to make a circle without my stencil. That could go horribly wrong. That's not too bad. All right. Now, what do I want to put? If these are going to be flowers, what do I want to put in that middle of that? I'm thinking about a little, a little lunar black, and then letting it run down the stem. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, Cass. Hey, Willina. I don't like how this paper's buckling, though starting to piss me off if I tell the truth. See you hey Marilyn. Welcome. Good to see you. All right, good enough. Good enough. Now, let me see. Can I do that again? Can I do it again? Let's do this up. A little more water. This one's right on that damn wrinkle of paper. I'm going to try to get the stem to run where I want it to run. Well, not exactly, but eh, they're abstract flowers. <laughs> I can take it off the block, but I think it's just going to buckle up worse if I don't have it taped down, which I'm not going to do at this point.
Yeah. All right, let me get some of this more pigment out of there. Huh. Well, I mean, they're rose gold. How bad can it be? I think I'm going to go with the black, the lunar black. Ooh, that smells like that's getting kind of hot in there. Hmm. Never smelled that before. Better keep an eye on that one. <laughs> like Krispy Kreme donuts. Great, now I want one. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking, oops, mashing my brush. I'm thinking that I might do lunar black in there. What the hell? Let's just see what happens. I'm going to do it in this one first. Good thing I don't have to make a circle. Now, I don't know if that's going to do a lunar black thing or not without the water. I'm going to get some more water in there. Let me put some more, even some more in there and then let that run. Oh, that's going horribly bad. That's okay. That's okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Maybe I should put it in water. I should wet this first and not do wet on dry. Let's do wet on wet. I think Lear Black likes that better. Yes, it does. At this point, I have no clue what I'm doing. But as we know, I get to that point at some time during every stream. Donut fantasy. Come on, people. I'll be cutting my stream off early and heading up the road. To the donut store. Put more water in so it'll run. Let's see what happens. Oh, that one didn't cooperate quite as well. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Am I seeing sperm? <laughs> huh. Yeah, not happy with that. So let's, instead of, uh, well, I don't really know what's happening there. Let's do this, just for shits and giggles. Let's put a little spray there and a little spray there and a little spray there. And let's see what happens when they run past that. This is going to be a real blob. Oh my, we're getting worse. This is an experiment gone bad. Do I see anything different here? This way? Planets in a galaxy? Far, far away. Far, far away. Hmm. 
Wow. <laughs> that didn't come out. The way I was expecting. Hmm. They usually don't. And now I'm looking at this up here where I added the water around here. Very little of that traveled and wet it. So you got to use that, get that traveling when it's wet. Because see how it fanned out in here really nicely? The rose gold kind of blended. And here around this, it kind of just didn't. <laughs> There's just a little bit of a shadow around there. And a little bit of red. Oh, hi, Debbie. <laughs> Cass was keeping it clean because she just came from church. Oh. Um, yeah, wow, that one really went bad. That went bad. Hmm. <laughs> you think red would look good too, Gala? Doing what with it? Splattering it? Or Debbie, what did you have in my idea? What did you have in mind when you said red? Add it to my psycho flowers. Splatter. I'm almost thinking of, of like running it around in a circle here and let it wash into that rose gold. But what color red? Queen coral, Mayan red, Quinn red, permanent red deep, road night, Quinn pink, rose of ultra, opera rose, Quinn fuchsia, carmine, naphthite maroon. Oh, Quinn fuchsia, Quinn red, maybe Quinn red. That's kind of a bright. To redirect the eye away from the sperm. <laughs> oh, mercy. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. This is not good. So, um, you know, again, for shits and giggles, let's just experiment. Let's keep experimenting, shall we? I'm going to go wet this circle. Just the perimeter. Like that fancy word. And let's just pick up a little twin red. And let's just do this and see what happens. Mercy. Well, now that I've done it to one, let's just loosen up some of this and do it again. Now I'm just like a kid playing with um, crazy finger paints. You love it? Ah! Gail, I'm st oh, hang on. I didn't, uh, I didn't loosen this one up. I can't say I'm loving it. Cougar red. Ooh. Let's 
get this a little mixed up in here more. That's a muddy mess. Cougar, I thought I had a little cougar mixed up somewhere. Oh, you know what? I think I sent that to my buddy Napa Jim. This isn't cougar red, but let's just drop some of this in here. As we say for shits and giggles. Oh, Lord, it's getting bigger. Ah! That's what he said. Oh, we just went from PG to M. Oh, my. <laughs> this, is, this is not so good. All right, let's splatter something in the red family. Maybe this uh, metallic y thing I got going over here. This is not Cougar Red. It's one that came in my Pearls palette that's not named, it's just got the number. Oh, mercy. Well, I will say the red didn't hurt it. <laughs> oh. The red planet. Oh, my. What the hell? Let's see. Got it. Oh, hey, Z. Well, I did this earlier. This was going to be a test, and it failed horribly. But we did this earlier. That's looking pretty good now. <laughs> now that I've got this conglomeration of a mess. Actually, I'm kind of getting a poppy feel out of it now. Wow. Hmm. Where is that? Oops. Um. I had a pen. All right, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Use a pencil to break up the solid areas and add a pattern. 
like on the red Debbie you're talking about. Um, thinking. It still seems like a solid area. I'm trying to think what I can do to the centers and um, maybe something around the edge of the flowers. So, and keep in mind that I can't draw. <laughs> Turn it upside down and add a green branch. Turn it upside down and add a green branch. That one I'm not seeing. Yeah, it might be time to, um, although I got to tell you, I didn't think the red was going to go, but the way I'm, the mix the um, oh the ornaments oh okay <laughs> all right let me see Stencil off a cityscape in the background. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm rooting through a pack of, I mean, a drawer full of stencils to see what I might do. I'm not looking at chat right now. So. Oh, you know what? You know what? What can I do with this one? This one? Maybe. I don't know. Go to honk a sponge. Do I not see a woman? up here in the top right I do not see her if I saw her she'd probably be giving me the finger <laughs> oh my god I can't see her like where's her head where do you see a head or a body or I see more of a yellow lab. Nose, ears, back, back leg, and tail. I don't know why. A nude with arms over her head and seated. A nude with arms over her head and seated. Man, you guys are creative. <laughs> Upper right with arms up. Hmm. Well, even if I did see her, I wouldn't know what the hell to do with her. Because once again, I can't draw. Arms above her head. Everybody sees it but me. Let me see. Can I see her doing a headstand? Will that burn her to life? I'm not seeing it. Oh, maybe. Okay, okay. So these are her arms, her head, her boobs, her flat stomach, and her ass, right? Naked and pregnant. <laughs> yep, I remember somebody saw a dog. So. Now, what to do with her? It's like Oakley playing with his toys. <laughs> so I was thinking about doing something with this one. But what to do? You 
these are very springy sponges. When you, um, oh, my water's kind of colored here. Plain as day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to erase part of her. But now, how should I do this? How do I make this look like a cityscape? Probably too big of a stencil, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Actually, I do do that, Debbie, look in the screen instead of looking at what I'm looking at. This might be too big. Hang on. Hold your phone. There are just too many freaking stencils in here. Maybe this one would be more. Hmm. Oh, hell, I'm tired of looking at it. Let's go do something. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Here we go. We're going to go bye-byes. Babe, what are you doing down there, honey? What are you doing? This just made it dirty. Yeah. Ah, not one of that. I think we might be going from bad to worse at this point. Stencil with a color. Now you tell me. Let's do. Let's break this one up like this, because I don't think I can screw it up anymore. This little pieces of that sponge break off. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We might as well bring some of it down here now. Make a total mess. Uh-oh. That was too wet. Uh -oh. Well, I went from not a fan to almost a fan, and we're back to not a fan again. See, now you can see the new woman through Venetian blinds. <laughs> oh, mercy. Hmm. Yeah, I think what we got here is a whole lot of not much. But let's get heat on it for a 
It looks good. Oh, Lord. You people are too generous. Woody Penguin. That's another one. That's another new one. Welcome. Yeah, not a fan so far. Oh, hang on. I just had me an idea, but I don't think I have the right color sparkly pen, do I? Oh, that's not very pretty at all. What are these? Oh, that's a Uniball. I don't like that one. What's this pink? That's too pink. I don't know. What the hell? How bad can it get? Patty, I get a view like that on a man across the road. For a oh, great. <laughs> great. Let's just for shits and giggles see what happens here. Oh, it's not round. <laughs> Let's do that again, shall we? Let's just keep moving and make some random circles around it that look like I intentionally botched it. Let's go with that, shall we? Like how... <laughs> Can we get? Oh my goodness, as Oakley would say. Huh. All right. Well, what the hell? Let's just keep going with that. Well, you notice I'm saying, hmm, a lot. Huh. Like, what the hell are we going to do now? Let's take, um... Let's put some black dots in the center. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> That's what keeps me going, Jackie. Perfection being overrated. <laughs> the red circles are too perfect. Yes, they are. They should be one. I think we're too late for wonky. Since I use this and I since I use a stencil to make them circles. I don't think I can blur that up again. Um, unless. <laughs> hang on. I got to see this up close without my glasses. So I can see what the hell I'm looking at. Huh. Leave it as is. It does. It do need something. I need to do something with the stems. I never draw a thing because, well, I think we've explained that today. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, mercy. Um, yeah, this is a brain teaser here. I wonder if I went over this with a different stencil and pounced some watercolor through it over there. Gail, you're just you're just a glutton for punishment. <laughs> God bless you. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking of doing. That's a whole lot of stuff to outline here. If I start doing that, hmm. If I were to count a color through those through a stencil. Which stencil would I pass? Oh, hang on. I don't know. That's probably too much, too much pouncing. Pretend they're poppies and you were growing them to make money from drugs. That's how I got here in the first place, Eileen. <laughs> stencil over the red to knock them back. Huh. <laughs> oh, mercy. Hmm. I've said that again, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, hell bells. Well, here we are. I know I'm burning time. People on on, on YouTube watching the rebroadcast. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. <laughs> How about a stencil? The upper left and lower right of each corner. Then in the middle horizontal. How about stencil on the upper left and lower right? Upper left, lower right. Of this, of this onesie. And what color? Maybe back to the rose gold. Watching the girl through the beads. Bunch of perverts. I don't know. Um, it's uh, lunar blue, a different stencil. Yeah, but this one. Maybe this one, Iron Gate. I don't know. My brain's getting fried. Let's just do this. Let's do this. Where's the makeup sponge? This one, yes, this one's one of mine, Jackie. Is it's called Iron Gate. Let's just let's just make make it stop. Make it stop. I'm gonna go with rose gold. This may be the wrong thing to go to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. I've been wrong so far, so let's keep it going. That kind of 
I'm going to kind of make sure this is straight. Ish. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I see Z saying black. I'm going to go rose gold for right now. I might do something black later with some kind of a paste or something. I don't know how clear this is going to come out for that design. Not very, I'm thinking. Yeah, not great, but that's okay. I'm sticking with the theme of not great. I'm going to do something black. But right now, let me do this. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Nothing a tuna fish sandwich wouldn't take care of. Trying to take move everybody's eye off the <laughs> off the um that's what I'm gonna make, Gail. I'm gonna make a tuna fish sandwich. So um yeah, I agree we need some black, but what's that black gonna be? That's a big old mess, is what that is. Holy mother of pearl. Um splatters and fix everything. <laughs> Uh, hey, Dar. Um, my when I have the chance or opportunity to doodle, my mind goes blank. I don't know what the hell I'm doodling. I don't know what to doodle, and that seems stupid to even say that, but that's true. Like I don't like in the flowers. I want to doodle something, but what am I going to doodle? I don't know. Black, white, what shapes, lines, circles, dots, squiggles. I don't know. I'm just like, my mind's totally blank. Shut up, Gala. <laughs> I'm looking through stencils again. I've got to come up with better stencil storage. I've never seen a decent stencil storage idea. I think you need a hard edge. Joan stencil with the sun and the stars. A hard edge. What do you mean by a hard edge? I just pulled this little, what do you call it, out of here. I'm wondering, can I stencil with a color through there over the circles and just do something in them? But what color? Maybe just a little more rose gold since that's what's on my... Um... Bye, Terry. Thanks. So you need a contrast from the circles and the soft edges. You know what, just for shits and giggles, I don't know why this seems like a good idea in my head. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy. Let's see what happens. It's rose gold already in here. So this is going to be very subtle, but that's what I'm trying to do. It's something very subtle. Look 
just gives it a little bit of texture. Citizens arrest. Let's not do that. Let's not go back there, Gala. Shades of our North Carolina experience. Oh, mercy. I need to get Xandra's stencil with that those drapey beads on it. She puts up in her corners. I love that one. Of course, when I was placing an order the other night, that one didn't occur to me to put in my basket. I actually try not to buy stencils unless I really, 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 really like it because I have a ridiculous amount of them. That's not a bad thing, but... I don't know what to do with it. I do think it needs something black. Should I make just really prominent black? That's too bold for the um, stems. That's too bold. Um, hmm. Why I'm doing this because I cannot draw. I cannot draw. I don't care who knows it. That's so fine. That's not even a, really a papa. All right. I think I'm going to go uh, black squats, tuna fish sandwich. It's my next move. Vibrant green would look great in moderation. Moderation, she says. Like, a, um, like green gold or like fallow yellow green. It's like neon. What are you thinking? Oh. Maybe, hang on, hold the phone, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to splat some of this chroma green, Hey, Katrina. Hey, Kira. Welcome to the disaster zone. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm going to... Um, well, there's a little bit green. I try to splat it where the stems are because I'm going to go with, I think, black over the whole thing here. But what kind of black? What black would you splat with? Let me go to my little magical board of inks. Hmm. 
this black India ink. It seems kind of boring, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Never knew that there were so many blacks and watercolors. I think I should do some kind of other stencil thing through here in black, maybe. Maybe the same one in black. Oh, this one's a stumper. Haynes hmm. Gray. I do have Haynes Gray. I've got Sennelier Haynes Gray. I've got Daniel Smith. No, I got Payne's blue gray and Daniel Smith. Oh, maybe that would be the one to do. I don't know. My brain's getting tired. <laughs> okay, let's go with the Snellier Payne's gray. I want to get this kind of dark. Can you guys hear Babe snoring under my table? Whoa. <laughs> you hear that one? Oh, babe. Oh, maybe too much. Shocker. Oh, my. Let's call this disaster done. That went from bad to worse to worser. Although it's not the worst thing I've ever done, which is the sad and scary part. <laughs> okay, that's where it's going to end for now. I give. I like this one better. We did this one earlier. Lifted with some pictographs, some uh, Tokyo pigment in those big circles. And lunar blue, kyanite, and Mineral violet by Holbein, and then a bunch of silvery bits. That's where we're going to wrap it up, kids. Yeah, not a big fan. I'll have to walk away and come back. Oh, <laughs> Debbie doesn't want it now. Went one step too far. Story of my life. I almost have an uh, inkling to just spritz it with water and let everything run and see what happens. All right, say goodbye to the nude lady sitting in the chair with the, her hands over her head. Spritz it now. Yeah, just like wet it and let it run and see what happens. What do you think? Should I? It's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, I can always cut it up. 
into tiny little pieces. Do it and leave it. <laughs> How am I supposed to make a good decision with that information? It's got pretty areas. Of course, with the rose gold, you can't go bad with rose gold. It's growing on me. Oh, Lord. Sometimes you people are very helpful. Sometimes you just confuse me more. <laughs> Maybe with a black mat around it. Leave it for a week. <laughs> oh, I'll leave this one for about a year. But I, I got to tell you, I'm not. Um... Oh, look at that. This back is separate from the block. It's only, huh, interesting. Yeah, not sure about this paper. Jury's still out. Anywho, I'm going to go eat a sandwich, get old Oakley out of his crate. He's been patiently in his crate. His daddy's golfing. And he's in the box. Get my brushes washed out. You do hate that paper, Shauna? Now you tell me. I saw somebody raving about it, so I thought, eh, that's different. I'll give it a try. But this is what I'm talking about, and it's I'm, I'm not I'm not that thrilled, to be honest. Any thanks for hanging with me through this very painful process today. And uh, I'm going to scram for now. And uh, I might be on one evening this week. I'm not sure. So we'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks, guys. I'm going to ditch my recording. By the way, don't do what I did here. Do more of what I did here. <laughs> I'm going to go get me a sandwich. Bye.